What are the pros and cons of living in Bergen County? Well, in this video, I'm going to be talking about those based on my experience living here as a lifelong resident. So let's get started. The number one pro are the school districts. Now, if you want to educate your children in the number two school district in the state, move here, move to Bergen County. There are 284 public schools here and we have the top 10% of school districts right here. No need to move anywhere else. We also have the number two high school in the state and that is Bergen Academies. Number two is the sales tax. Groceries, clothing, and prescription drugs are exempt from the New Jersey sales tax. Now, Bergen County has no special sales tax jurisdictions with local sales taxes in addition to state tax. The sales tax here is 6.63% and New Jersey has a lower sales tax than about 56% of other states. Number three is commuting to New York City. Now this is a major attraction for people in Bergen County because it's a fact that we are on the other side of the Hudson River from Manhattan. So people who work in the city consider this a major component of living here. There are several commuting options for residents. There is the New Jersey Transit operating both bus and train service, which has three train lines. There's the Pascack Valley line, the Bergen County line, and the main line. There is the Coach USA and they operate bus service to Port Authority in Midtown. There's the New York Waterway and that operates ferry service in Edgewater across to the Hudson River to New York City and there are two hubs there. And then there's also the Route 4 Chitney and that takes you right to the George Washington Bridge bus terminal. A typical commute by bus is about 40 minutes to an hour to the Port Authority in Manhattan and if you take the train, again, that's probably 40 minutes to an hour, depending on where you are going. If you're going to the Sea Caucus Junction or down to Hoboken. If you are a shopper, well, number four is for you, shopping malls. New Jersey is known for having an abundance of malls and there is no shortage of shopping here in Bergen County. We have five major malls, hundreds of national retailers, and many downtown districts to choose from. A lot of New York City residents come here to shop to take advantage of the variety of services available in Bergen County and they do not have to pay sales tax on clothing. We also have the largest mall in New Jersey and that is the Garden State Plaza and that has many high-end stores and well over 35 dining options to choose from. Now let's get into the cons. Number one is congestion and traffic. First of all, New Jersey is the most densely populated state in the country and Bergen County is the most populous county in New Jersey. With 890,000 residents, it's no wonder there is congestion on the roadways. So be prepared with dealing with crowds and being around a lot of people whenever you head out the door. Bergen County towns, they are packed together. They are very small towns in parts of the county by driving a few miles one way in one direction and a few miles in the other, you might have left one or two towns and arrived in another. The major highways in Bergen County that cause most of this traffic are Route 4 and Route 17, Route 80, maybe some sections of the Garden State Parkway and Route 3, and that is in the southern part of Bergen County. Number two are the property taxes. Now this is the biggest complaint you will hear from any New Jersey residents. New Jersey homeowners are paying the highest property taxes in the nation, with Bergen County being the number two highest in the state. Now property taxes provide funding for your local government, and they need that money to operate to pay for public and community service. They pay for law enforcement, education, emergency services, fire safety, and public health. And in turn, you are going to receive outstanding services. Now, property taxes can change frequently 
based on market conditions and your local budget needs. And number three are the cold winters. Now, some of you might not agree with me on this because you might love the cold weather. The winters here are very long, cold, sometimes windy, and sometimes overcast. January and February are the coldest months here in Bergen County, where the temperatures really are low as 22 degrees. We average about 26 inches of snow per year, while the U.S. average is 28 inches. And really, the winters all depend on what Mother Nature has to offer us. If you want to know about the cost of living in Bergen County, watch this next video. I'm Christina Lexu, your Bergen County Realtor. And if you want to know more information, my contact information is right here below. I am looking forward to seeing you soon.